many, many companies are working really hard to enable the private wireless networks. There are many use cases, Jim, when you think about private enterprises and how they could benefit from the, the powerful 5G solutions that exist today. I think in many areas, what I've been gathering from just talking to various people here at MWC is for various reasons, the funding is not becoming available uh, where they would start to roll out 5G networks into private enterprises. A um, couple of things that come to my mind is it, it does take initial heavy capex investment and then also there is operational cost on top of that that an enterprise has to bear and then they have to see the benefit of making that investment for them from this technology. So, so we are focused on how to make that vertical more possible by solving some of the problems we are seeing today in, in multiple aspects. Certainly the telco industry has um, grown a lot and, and one of the things that 3GPP has proven is that they can undertake a very complex system and through the standardization efforts make the interconnectivity seamless around the world. And, and other industries are starting to see the benefits of that. And they're coming into 3GPP, whether you look at a uh, um, non-terrestrial network, whether you look at uh, high altitude platform stations, you look at UAVs, uh, you, et cetera, or even automotive. And, and through collaborative consensus building approach, we are able to generate specifications so that all these industries can interconnect with each other and collaborate with each other and benefit for each other. Otherwise, it'll be very, very complex system that would not be able to interoperate with each other. And so as MWC grows and, and brings in all these players so that we can look at different parts of how they all fit with each other, I think that's really an awesome achievement of MWC.